Like she solved her own homicide. She she solved it. She made sure that he was going to go down and that her her death wasn't going to go in vain. Now for the night team, a Valley grandmother that many in Glendale knew as a teacher and a coach murdered after making a food delivery just three minutes from her home. And tonight the suspect is behind bars, all of it thanks to a picture the grandmother took before she was shot and killed. The victim's daughter sitting down with Team 12's Adriana Loya, remembering her mother as a strong fighter until the end. At 60 years old, Pamela Martinez was stronger and healthier than ever. She loved to work out. She was she loved health all around. She was a bodybuilder up until about 59. She at least had 40 more years, if not more. But about a month away from her birthday, she was senselessly murdered. She did not deserve that at all. No one does. On June 11th, the retired teacher and coach was on her way home after finishing her last food delivery of the day as an Uber Eats driver when near 61st Avenue, just north of Bell Road, she was shot and killed by another driver. There must have been some sort of altercation because they were pulled off to the side of the road. There's a possibility that it was some type of road rage that had occurred, um, but we just don't know. A witness telling police he was driving by when he saw a man standing outside of Pamela's car on the driver's side. The man then allegedly walked over to his minivan and drove off. That's when Pamela's car slowly veered off the road onto a wash. Paramedics breaking into her car to get her out and render aid, but she was gone. Before the shooting and after the alleged altercation, police say Pamela rolled down her passenger window and snapped a clear photo of the suspect. That led police to 62-year-old Rusty Raymond French, who now faces second-degree murder charges. And the photograph that she took was of the van that the witness described and of that man sitting in his van. In a post-Miranda interview, records say Rusty French admitted to being the man in the picture, but that he blacked out afterwards. During the interview, he allegedly showed no remorse. She solved her own homicide, and uh, I'm blessed that she did that because if not, this would be even harder. Monique Daniels, heartbroken her mother, won't be here to welcome her fourth grandchild to the world. You know, getting justice is great and all, but it doesn't fix anything. She's not coming back. The single mother of two, leaving behind a legacy. No idea the worlds you've changed, the lives you've devastated, and the, the person you took from everybody. I would like her to be remembered as a strong, independent, motivational, determined woman who did anything and everything she could to make sure she made it. Adriana Loya, 12 News. <laughs>